Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums and today I'm going to be doing an album review on the new Why Are You Doing This To Me? Why? Laptop. Why? On the new Nico Paolo album, Nico Paolo. So, born in Portugal, now based in the US folk pop singer-songwriter, Nico Paolo has released her full-length debut studio album, and I really haven't heard of her name until uh, Not Real Music has reviewed the album, and then a little time after that, somebody in my comments, one of my subscribers, recommended it to me, and usually I don't review music uh, recommended by my subscribers, but because I've seen this album being talked about before, and I have already listened to this album a little bit, I believe, I am reviewing it now. So yeah, this is essentially a folk pop singer-songwriter album. It's fairly simple, very acoustic, relaxing, sweet and sugary, and it is genuinely one of the nicest sounding albums I've heard all year so far. The album opener is an intro track called Intro Dream with its gentle swaying guitars drenched in reverb, some simple vocal work, and it's very blissful and sweet. And it transitions very smoothly into the actual first track, Time, which is honestly a really, really gorgeous track. And then after the compressed flute intro, the track transitions into some sugary acoustic guitars, some driving rhythms. Right off the bat, it immediately reminds me of Shore era Fleet Foxes because it shares the same summery sweetness. And the vocals are dense and tender at the same time. It is a fantastic track. And then after that, we have Amor, 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 which is a track with some quiet intros sung in Portuguese. Halfway into the track, we get these shakes and these hand drums that just add so much more personality to the track, and it is a very beautiful track once again. Following that, we have The Master, which is a slow grooving jam in a steady 4-4 beat. The vocal harmonies in the back are absolutely gorgeous, and we have some lyrics on romantic encounters all over different places in the world. And then following that, we have Now or Never, which is also one of the highlights on the album, in my opinion. This track is a much-needed ballad with twangy guitar licks, and as well as emotional and poetic lyrics that I enjoy quite a bit. And the album goes into a bit of a low point with uh, Learning My Ways, which is, in my opinion, a pretty standard singer-songwriter track with some moving guitars. This track just doesn't have the same sweetness that other tracks on the album has, um, but it's still not bad on its own, in my opinion, for sure. Following that, we have Lock Me Inside, and after the slow, quiet intro, we get these gorgeous rising piano tones, which really is what makes this track better than your average singer-songwriter folk pop track. It is the clean, heavenly pianos that really guide you to the top. And even though on this track, Nico Paolo's vocals are so much more subtle, and she sings in a way lower register, I think the absolutely colorful, vivid instrumental breakdown towards the end of the track really make up for her subtle vocals. Following that, we have Lovers in the Street, which is a dreamy slow track and 3-4 time signature. I love, 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 love the jazzy regal flutes on this track. There are basically two weaknesses for me in terms of music. One is nostalgic chord progressions. Two, it's flutes. Whenever I hear flutes in anything, I immediately like it. Like, it could be that one future track. It could be flutes in a rock song or an avant-garde jazz track. Uh, or in this case, a folk pop song, but when I hear flutes, I like it. The final two tracks aren't really that impressive, unfortunately. We have Hand Kisser, which is both vocally and instrumentally very subtle, and the album ending, Read My Mind. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, unfortunately. It's kind of average for what it is, but again, it's not bad, and I think overall the album is one of the nicest, cleanest, most beautiful listens of the year so far, and I highly recommend anyone to check it out. It's really accessible, it's real likable, and this artist is super overlooked. So I am giving the new Nico Paolo self-titled debut album a decent 8 out of 10. So if you listen to the new Nico Paolo album, comments below, let me know, subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching. 
there are so many more albums for me to review. Uh, there's a new Panchico album. Um, there's a Vietnamese album to review. There's a Turkish album. The new Billy Woods and Kenny Siegel. And um, maybe Cara Jackson? Maybe? 